Hi, Danielle here. Welcome to my channel, Danielle's Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make delicious, quick and easy fudge. Okay, so let's get started. What you're going to need is some semi-sweet chocolate chips. I have the Nestle's, this big bag. <laughs> I got that from our Sam's. And then I have Hershey's butterscotch chips. I need those. Some vanilla. I have McCormick's. A 14 ounce can of condensed milk. And pecan halves that I have, um, what do you call them, crushed up. Okay, so let's get started. This is so good and so easy. I don't know what kind of baking you all do for Christmas, but this is one of our definite must-haves at Christmas time. And I've always struggled with um, fudge for years, and I could never find a good recipe. It would always come out like grainy or hard. It wouldn't stay soft and nice. But I found this recipe. I don't even remember where I found it. So it's been several years now, and it is amazing. Okay, so we're going to put everything in this pot and melt it all together. So first off you need it says 12 ounces semi-sweet chocolate chips, but that's a cup and a half. So I just measure out a cup and a half. One, that's half a cup. And then a cup. I don't know if you guys are good at making fudge, but like I was saying, I always struggle with a good recipe and this one is life changing for me. <laughs> so amazing. Okay, and then you need a cup of butterscotch chips. So I have my butterscotch chips in my cup. And the nuts, like I'm adding in pecans. You don't have to, or you can add in walnuts. Um, some people add in um, currants or raisins. But I have pecans, and that's why I'm using the pecans. Okay, and then we need a teaspoon of vanilla. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the flame. What are your guys' what do you guys do you bake for Christmas, for the holidays? Do you um, what do you guys do? What are your holiday traditions? Okay, so now I just opened up the can of the sweetened condensed milk and we're going to pour that in. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. So amazing. Yeah, so what do you guys do? This is one of my go-tos. We always have to have fudge. And there's a few more I'll be sharing of what we make um, during our holiday season. Do you guys have cookies? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys do. Also, if you like this video, give it a like. Feel free to share this video and definitely consider subscribing. So like I say, I'll be making, I'll be sharing some more yummy, delicious um, recipes that we make for the holidays. And then as we get into the new year soon, let me know if there's anything you guys want to see me make or do. If there's something different you want to see me do on this channel. I know I'm primarily cooking and baking, but... I'm willing to venture out. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. I want to share content, but I want to share what you guys want to see, what you find interesting. So let me know. This is melting down so good. It takes a moment because you want to do it on low, so you don't want it to get, you know, burnt or when you um, melt down chocolate too fast, it'll get really gross. <laughs> Once we're done with this, once this melts, we're going to go ahead and add the pecans. A cup. I did a little less because I don't like as many. Um, it, I don't, you know, either way, it's for me a consistency thing. But I do like some in there. So I did probably like three, four, so not that much less. But that works for me. And then we're going to put it in this little um, casserole dish. This is an eight by eight. 
Okay, so we have this all melted down. It's still kind of melting. I turned the heat off because you don't want it to it's still melting a little bit. Oh, this is so good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add in the pecans or walnuts or whatever. Or you don't even have to add this. This is not a requirement. You could just put it like that and put it straight into the casserole dish and be done with it. But I like some in here. Okay, so we have the pecans all mixed in there. So now I'm going to put my casserole dish here. And since I had to unload, this is not hot, so don't freak out that I'm holding this hot pot in my hand. No, it's not hot. I can feel warmth, but not heat. Okay, I've never had to um, grease it. It's always, um, there's enough like gooeyness in here that doesn't stick. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to use this spoon to kind of scrape off the bigger one and then to help smooth things out. And then you just want to put this in the fridge, not for very long, like moments, <laughs> a few minutes. Um, I'll probably put it in there about 30 minutes and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished product and we'll sample it even though I know it's gonna be so delicious. Okay guys, here is the finished product. I'm going to go ahead and cut into it and sample it. Okay, I'm giving it, cutting it up here and um, it's so soft. I'm just literally using a spatula. You don't need anything. You don't really need a knife. I'm just kind of pushing the um, spatula down there in between. Oh, this is so good. All right, let me get something to pop that on out. Alright, here you go. Gooey, gooey, yummy goodness. Mmm, it's so soft. Look. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> if we keep it in the fridge, it will... I had it in the fridge probably about 20 minutes. And if you keep it in there, as time goes on, it will get harder. But, right now, are you kidding me? This is amazing. So good. I don't know if you like more firm. I like it like this. But, you know, whatever you like. This is so good. I love it. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you're all having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.